Good afternoon. Sunday the 24th of May 2020, 20 past four in the afternoon. Um, hopefully you can see bathroom door is locked. Well, closed. There's no lock on it. I mean, there should be, but there isn't. That's another one of those things that I inherited from the previous tenant that the council didn't check. Um, still got six bags of rubbish, I think, now. There'll be another bag going in there tomorrow morning, probably. So about seven bags of rubbish that includes mostly used cat litter. I've contacted NHS Direct, or whatever they call it now, I don't know. Um, they couldn't really help me. They wanted to do a full assessment, and all I've got is a cough at the moment. But I think I'm gradually coming down with ammonia poisoning, thanks to it. Does feel like I'm on my own. Six and a half billion people on this planet, and I'm here by myself. I must mention foxes afloat. I put a comment on their um, post yesterday. They can't remember the bloke's name, but one of them, <clears throat> a YouTube channel by the way, foxes afloat. Fantastic channel, great if you're in the mood for it. Um, I mean, great anyway, but because of my mental state, I can't really concentrate for long. But when I'm in a good frame of mind. I love their channel. Sit down and watch it for hours. I've watched their channel from literally video number one when they were planning their boat and building their boat, things like that. But I put a comment on their um, YouTube post last night and they favourited or lo loved my post and it was all about mental health and not being alone and hopefully this sort of thing helps people in similar situations and I think it's the first time someone from a YouTube channel has actually responded to a post of mine I think not that I post very often anyway oh when I got my na name read out on Big Clive last night which was you know I was on TV not just by this by my own hand by someone else I got mentioned Another great channel. I'll link both the channels below. Um, but yeah, that really made me feel good that someone actually liked what I said. Um, concentration is appalling. My head is spinning with, I wonder what's going to happen on Tuesday. Because as I predicted, as me and Mary predicted on Friday, nothing's going to happen to Tuesday. Despite Karen Bellamy saying, well, what who told you Tuesday? No one gets back to you. No one can get back to me anyway now because I've turned my phone off. It's just an internet device now. I'm only turning the mobile services on when I need to make a call. And that's very seldom. I don't need to make a call very often. The last time I turned it on was just briefly last night I had a quick chat to Mary but mostly I turned it on to send a message to the COVID-19 group because they came around Tuesday, um, on Saturday I think I said this in yesterday's video and it really panicked me because I wasn't expecting them to today Sunday um, I'm sticking to the cat's diet I gave them um, instead of chucking bags and bags of little treats at them. I'm giving them a handful each. Not every day, but when I give them treats, it'll be a handful um, each. Because the first day I gave them a packet between the three of them, and that should have lasted two, three days. So just a handful, a small handful at that. There goes one of those dogs that shouldn't be on the estate, that the council doesn't think exists. Um, I've got my uploads going again, I've got a backlog of videos again, about eight 
to edit and put up. I say eight because there was two days where there was two or three um, parts to it. So it's only about four or five days. So I've got two of them up already. I'm just preparing a third one. And then I got onto the multiple. So they, there's only two more days left really. But there's five more videos. Um, but as I say, these are purposefully going out delayed. Because I don't want people to see these videos and respond to them. I want these videos to be a record, a historical record of how I've been treated and how that's made me feel. Um, I used to do it both for my own mental health and to get attention. I'm not doing it that way anymore. I don't want people to give me attention because I've made a complaint on YouTube. I'm using this to record exactly what happens and at the moment apart from Duncan Angus oh and Mary I can't really honestly say that anyone has done anything I've had no evidence of any communication between either Karen or Ian Duncan Smith with anyone at the council I've put an FOI in for copies of the communications from Ian Duncan Smith's office just to see what they have actually done and what the response has been because either they are doing something and they're getting ignored in which case they're not doing anything if they're getting ignored they should be following up on it or they're not doing something and lying to me and I don't know currently it doesn't feel like anyone's doing anything. I'm trying to stop annoying Mary because I use her as my main crutch and it's not fair. You know, we have not been together for, thank you, Caspi. Now you see what needed a tripod. Thank you, Caspi. Not been with her for four years, I think. And yet she's been the only one really helping me. I won't accept any more charity help because it's not up to charity or police or anything. I see it as a housing issue. I don't know how many times I have to say this, and everyone keeps saying, "Um, everyone keeps saying, oh, you're not going to get anywhere. It's housing. Uh, why? Housing aren't above the law." They've made a contract, I expect them to stick to it. Otherwise, throw everyone's tenancy out of the way and then scrap all the rents as well. Because without a tenancy agreement, you've got no right to collect any rent. And if you're not upholding your side of the agreement, why should you charge anyone for rent? I mean, you're paying rent not only just to have four walls and a door, which I haven't got, by the way, because the council can't guarantee the communal door is going to be shut. So it's not only just for somewhere to live, it's also for services provided. And if they're not providing services or you're having to go become sick because of the lack of customer service, then I'm sorry, they are in breach of contract. So I don't know. I'm sitting here waiting for the daily briefing, the Sunday one, which should have been at four, but it's now at five. Because Dominic Cummings, you're going to watch this in the future and think, Dominic who? He's in the news all over the place. That's all they're talking about today and yesterday and the day before on whether he's breached lockdown. Like I said on a tweet to LBC last night when they were talking about it on the radio then. It isn't about whether anyone in government or as part of the government, because he's not an MP, he's an act. It's not about anyone breaking the rules or the law. It's about what they seem to be doing. Are they seem to be upholding the spirit of the law? That's what people in charge 
need to do. They need to be whiter than white. Martin Bell springs to mind. He was sent into, was it Tatum? To clean up politics in the area because of alleged corruption? I can't remember exactly. I thought it was Tatum. It might be somewhere else. But it is we have to trust people in charge and people in charge must be seen to be trustworthy and trying to find loopholes or excuses or reasons not to follow instructions is not what you expect from someone in charge you expect them to do what they expect you to do so if everyone's locked down and you're not supposed to travel more than a mile, which is what the instructions were when Boris Johnson first put these lockdown rules in place, they had guidance notes come out and the guidance notes actually said not to leave your home or travel further than a mile to get shopping or exercise. I think London to Durham is a little bit more than a mile. I think it's about 260 times more than a mile. So yes, it was against lockdown rules and advice. Now I don't see me being autistic, don't see the grey. I just see, did he do it in consideration of what they was asking the country to do or did he just, just ignore it? And to me, he ignored it. He doesn't say, because the way it comes across as he was ill and his wife was ill, so he went to his wife with his four-year-old child and then they locked themselves down in a house adjacent to their parents. That's just... Why has... How do they get a house adjacent to their parents first? I mean, is it his house? Has he got a second home up there? What is this house adjacent to their parents? And at the end of the day, as they pointed out on BBC News just a moment ago, the child didn't need any childcare. And all the only additional service that this advisor had was meals, apparently, or food, being delivered and left at the doorstep. Well, any COVID-19 group in London could have done that for him. And I'm sure there would have been people down here that could look after the child even if the whole family is in the northeast i'm sure there must have been people that could look after the child if he got ill we do have a social services structure or are, is social services no good for people in charge it's all right for us commoners but for people in charge oh no must, mustn't put our children into social care no so Unfortunately, I don't see there is any excuse for all this, you know. He should go. And, the, you know, the irony, or the pathetic thing, we've had two days of Conservative ministers and members of Parliament supporting him not being told to quit, being forced to quit. And if, as I think will happen, he goes, we'll have all the same... Tory ministers coming out saying well yes we didn't agree with what he did and you know it was all rather unfortunate so they'll spin it either way if he stays they'll spin it to say he was a good boy and if he goes they'll spin it to say well he did his best but it wasn't good enough I don't know onwards and upwards I've had Oh, I treated myself at three in the morning last night because I was feeling depressed and the only way I can get out of my depression normally is to buy things. So I had a look on eBay and because I've been watching a lot of Big Clive and I used to have an interest in electronics, I've bought a new soldering iron because the one I've got doesn't really heat up very much. So I've got a proper soldering iron. All cheap stuff out of China, so it's not coming for a couple of weeks so. Um, soldering iron and electronics hobbyist kit with a power supply module. I've never seen one of those before. 
but it looks like it's USB power supply module plug it in and you've got feeds coming off it with a you know prototyping board and component and I also ordered a kit to practice on a digital clock kit I think it is another cheapie out of China just to test the soldering and see if my soldering skill because I used to be good at soldering sort of but having watched my dad and Big Clive and various other people do soldering on TV I just want to get back into it it will give me distraction during the day rather than oh rather than sitting watching YouTube and I've been watching stuff that I've watched at least twice before sometimes so I think that's about it when did I start this I can't remember about 15 minutes I think it's been so far um, I've got the fan on in the bedroom and that's mainly, it's not to keep it cool, because it's only 24 degrees, it's mainly to blow the smell of the bathroom out, so it doesn't affect the cats. Merlin had brown treacly stuff coming out of his eye yesterday, and I was quite concerned that he might have got an infection from the bin bags, which is why I moved all the bin bags into the bathroom yesterday morning. I've mopped and steamed the floor, so the floors are sterile, at least sterile enough for the cats to eat off because sometimes they get biscuits and they eat them on the floor so that's clean and I'm going to try and keep it clean but it's not good not easy trying to stay clean when I can't have a bath or a shower and the longest I can stay in the bathroom is about two minutes before it makes me want to heave because of the smell of the rubbish um, Bank Holiday Monday tomorrow I don't see that anything's going to change next week. I've got a hospital appointment which I can't get to on Thursday I think it is. So I might try and call them on Thursday. Um, I can't see the council doing anything because why should they? It's only affecting my health physically and mentally. They're sitting at home with beers in their garden and, you know, having a smoke and people around. I'll guarantee people in the council, if we really looked at them, aren't totally obeying this lockdown. I don't think anyone in the borough is totally obeying the lockdown, apart from, you know, the odd people like me that have been forced to stay in because they're too scared to go out. I mean, I would like to have visitors and people... I'll, the only person that actually has, well, apart from Mary, who's always offering to come round and help me. But, you know, Mary's got her own issues anyway, and I don't want to keep calling her. Apart from Mary, Lee is the only one that has actually offered to come round and, you know, help. But because of the lockdown, because of how I am, because of what's going on, I've actually blocked her and stopped her talking to me. Because, like I said in one of the previous videos, um, I was talking to her one evening and she wouldn't turn the TV off and it's like, well you're talking to me or you're watching the telly and that is one of the biggest things that does wind me up if people say they're talking to you but they want to do something else at the same time well to me, they don't want to talk to you, you know, call me when you've got when you can give me time not just in between clips of movies or move sound or whatever so that's my life in a nutshell really, 53 years of isolation. And I think it gets to you after a while. Isolation. It started when my mum died when I was six. In fact it started when I was diagnosed with epilepsy at the age of three. Because then all the cotton wool went up around me and I wasn't allowed to do this and I wasn't allowed to do that and notes went to the schools and don't let them climb rope ladders and things like that I wasn't allowed to climb trees I wasn't allowed to go picnics or out with the school unless there was like medical facilities nearby all sorts of things my dad put on I didn't understand the world I still don't Every time I ask a question, I've got a slap from my dad. 
Why are you asking questions? Stop asking questions. My sister's picked on me. My brother ignored me, more or less. He didn't really want anything to do with me. And he was the best one of my siblings. Can't tell you what mum was like, because I don't remember anything about her. I really don't know, really. I mean, a lot of this goes back to how I was treated as a kid and you know, growing up and at school and all that sort of stuff. But it doesn't help the way I get treated by people that are supposed to be public servants. Oh my lord. So tonight is looking at, pardon me, I'm not eating right. I might check my sugar level in a moment because it's feeling like it's dropping. Even though I've just had oh, eggy asparagus hot dogs. It was all right, but the asparagus was a reduced thing. So it was the end of life asparagus. So that was partially rotten anyway literally partially rotten but I still had to eat it because I've got nothing else um, I don't know man. I'm going to say goodbye to you because I don't think I'm going to do another update so thank you for watching sorry it's been a bit dull and boring but hey that's my life um I just look forward to Wednesday or Thursday. I don't even expect anything to happen on Tuesday. But I reckon Wednesday or Thursday I'll have the police around here. Watch, watch that for a prediction. This is going, this is recorded. This is going up raw. I'm not editing this. This is going up raw. All I do is clip the end and the beginning off. So it just starts with me not moving around in the room. As you've seen in the last few videos. The police should be round here Wednesday afternoon, I reckon. If the council are doing something, the police will be round here Wednesday afternoon. Because with my phone off, no one can contact me. And I'm not going to be very responsive to emails because I don't check my phone anymore. And my doorbell is off, so they're going to have to get in and then knock on my door. Because I don't see the point of having a doorbell on when I'm not expecting any deliveries for two weeks. So I put it on when I'm expecting delivery. I'm tr well, like I say, I'm trying to keep the place clean, but it's not easy when you don't feel like cleaning yourself and you can't even clean yourself. But I'm really trying to keep the place clean for the cats more than me. I don't want them to get ill. I'm ill already. I know I am. I'm being affected already by the ammonia coming out of the bathroom. Every time I go to the bathroom, I'm gagging. And that's when I open the window in the bathroom at the same time. And I can't leave the window open because then you get flies in there. So, you know, there we go. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll survive till tomorrow and I'll give you another update tomorrow. Like, subscribe. Don't forget Foxes Afloat and Big Clive. I'll put the links down below. I might even put a card on, if I can, put a card on the end. I don't know, I've not done all these bits and pieces, but I might put links into their two sites because they're the ones that have kept me going for the last few weeks. Oh, and the Narrowboat experience as well. Yeah, it's mainly those three um, channels that have been keeping me going. And the humour that I can see that no one else can in this fast that they call lockdown. Anyway, thanks for watching. Speak to you tomorrow.